Hey Aquarius, what's up Aqua? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collector reading for you all. This is going to be for Aquarius placement. So wherever you guys have Aquarius in your chart, do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Aquarius. But if it does, please show me some love. Before we hop in, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, guys. Um, when I had the house fire, you guys definitely showed up and showed out. Um, so, again, thank you for all the love, the support, the donations. Um, y'all, y'all are amazing. All right. Um, and I'm telling all the Zodiac signs, um, thank you. Just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for donating, guys, and helping me and my family during challenging times. All right. Um, if you guys are waiting on a personal reading, I have like two more and I'm caught up. Um, but actually, I'm actually caught up with personal readings because I'm going to get those two done today. Um, and what else? Um, if you guys are waiting for an order, I will be um, processing the last bulk of orders this weekend to ship out next week. Okay. And if you guys are waiting on your ritual report, all the rituals are done. I did all the rituals. I'm just doing the reports um, so that I can send them to your email. My goal is to have them done. By the end of the week, that is my goal. Um, you guys know I was blessed last minute with a house. So just because I moved in, I'm not fully settled. But I'm working really hard behind the scenes, getting everything together. Like I said, doing drop ship, doing the ritual reports, the personal readings, all that good stuff. Okay, guys, content, all that. So just bear with fire, y'all. All right, so let's hop in, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, let's see what your guardian angels have to say. Let's start out with some good news, some messages. Let's see. Guardian angels, what messages do you have for Aquarius? All right, so we have eight of thought. You may feel as though you are restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. So you guys are needing to free yourself from somebody or a situation, a place or thing, all right? Don't wait to the last minute. Don't leave it up to them to free you from this when you can free yourself from this situation yourself, okay? We have seven of abundance. And it says, have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry. The hard work you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. So you guys have planted some seed with the seven of abundance and you guys are just waiting for things to blossom and grow. And I definitely feel like they will. Okay. It looks like things are about to take off for you guys. It's just taking a little bit longer than what you guys expected. Okay. So just be a little bit more patient. Your guardian angels are seeing that. Things are working behind the scenes and things are coming into fruition, okay? Um, let's see. We have a nine of emotion, so that's good. It says, this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are, your, are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. So it's time for you guys to have more fun. The nine of emotions is also a card of like self-love. It's taking care of you. It can be material happiness um, with this card. And it can also just speak about, like I said, luck. I know some people don't believe in luck. Some people believe in blessings. I believe in both. So I believe in luck and blessings, okay? Um, so it's just like luck is on your side. Blessings are coming in for you guys. A message for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius. All right, let's see. Message for Aquarius. All right, so we got the page of pentacles. All right, and it says. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. So you guys are going into a new area of study. All right. Um, you guys are stepping into a more cheerful, dependable energy. All right. You guys are getting to work. You guys have a good opportunity 
that's coming towards you or some type of opportunity is going to present itself to you guys very soon, okay? So definitely look out for that. We have the Ace of Pentacles. It went fall of abundance, wise counsel, or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchase like a home or vehicle. So congratulations to those of you that are about to purchase a home, a vehicle, um, or that just have like a windfall of money or abundance coming towards you guys, okay? So let's see. Messages for Aquarius. We have love. The love card flipped out. It says love is in the air. Love is in the air. A great time for a commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Okay, so love is in the air. Something's about to take off. Look at you. It says planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. So y'all are about to lay down the, the foundations. Lay down some foundations. You guys are planning things, making plans. So that looks really good. It looks really good. We have intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. So you guys have a lot going on within your career or like some type of raise or promotion or something like that coming in, which looks really good though, okay? You guys are needed to follow and trust your intuition when it comes to your health, when it comes to investing your money, when it comes to your career, some type of career change or something within your business, okay? Um, if you guys do work for yourself or if you're on a contract job, somebody is going to want to extend your contract or you guys could be working for somebody that's like a big deal. Like somebody that could be like famous or somebody that just makes a lot of money. They are going to like your work and they're going to pass it on to other people. So they're going to tell other people like, oh, work with them. They did this for me. Um, their, um, their work is really good. And the people that they, um, the people that they tell about you they're not going to be cheap either. Like, you're about to make some money. Like, some of you guys are going to have, like, some contracts or something. I don't know if you guys do, like, interior design or, um, I don't know. It's like, I feel like you guys do something, like, hands-on where you build or put something together or maybe you, like, I wouldn't say stud stuff, but you could, but it's, like, something that you do, like, but it's hands-on and it's, it takes a lot of time. It's time-consuming and it's something that you do and you're really great at it and you're going to get some clients from it, from this person that you did work for and they're going to be like big time clients or they're just going to pay you really good for some of you guys if you take on like three or four of the jobs like you're going to be good for the rest of the year like even for like the next six eight months because the money you're about to make is about to be crazy like you're going to be making like ten thousand plus a deal is what i'm hearing anywhere from five and at least five and up like you're gonna be making good money so it's gonna be like you can rest a little bit it ain't gonna be i'm not gonna say it's gonna be money we're like oh you can take the whole year off no I don't know. You might be able to. It depends. But I feel like you'll be able to rest some. You will be able to get caught up on bills. You'll be able to chill, vacation, travel, do what you want to do. You'll be able to do those things again. Okay? So, let's see what's going on. Let's see, Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? It says you play the wrong one. You are never there for me when I need you. The truth will come out. I can't believe you did this to me. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like they did. They played the wrong one. And now you're about to blow up and become very successful. You make me nutty. So that's going to be their excuse. Yes, I lied. Let me explain. So they did lie. I know I got a smart mouth. So that could be you. That could be them. Maybe one of you guys got a smart mouth. You know, maybe one of y'all are smart mouthed. Um, but let's see. I wanted to see how this is. What other energy we got. I need some more messages for her, please. I didn't think you would find out. I apologize. That's been coming up in all the readings. That apology card. Everybody apologizing right now. I don't know what to say. All right. So let's look at the energy around this because... Yes, they lied and some type of truth is coming out. I feel like you guys just can't believe what happened. You're shocked. But it's like the blessing behind this is like I said, you're about to blow up and be very successful. Like they paid, they played the wrong one, but 
like you're blessed and highly favored <laughs> about to be real successful like it's like you got a lot of success coming towards you so it like it sucks because you're like fuck like they played me they did this to me like you feel some type of way of course and you're like damn like i gotta deal with all of this but in the end you got some blessings coming in like some blessings blessings coming in Cornucopia. What did I just tell you? Blessings. They about to be jealous. They about to be jelly. <laughs> they gonna be envious and jealous because somebody is gonna be like, what? Like, cause they did, they played the wrong person, and now y'all about to be sitting on blessings on blessings on blessings. <laughs> Remember that song back in the day? Rex on Rex on Rex. Hey, Rex on Rex on Rex. Y'all about to have it going on. Like, look, your world, your life is about to change. I'm telling you, Aquarius, like, you about to get some blessings out of this. It's like, I get it. You guys may be heartbroken. It may be a fucked up situation. But, baby, that money going to be longer than that it was, okay? So, yes. Y'all going to be on the beach, cheeks out, money long, okay? Like I said, y'all going to be enjoying it. Yeah, they played the wrong one, but... The universe got your back. Look, financial constraints. They still gonna be broke. They gonna be broke. Look, and then some of y'all got a new relationship coming in. Y'all got a new relationship coming in. This person is still gonna be struggling and going through it. See, the person that deceived y'all and played y'all is gonna be going through financial constraints. That's gonna be their karma um, for some of you guys. Or they're just gonna be still strapped and going through stuff financially. And you're gonna be blossoming and growing and being successful. Like I said, y'all gonna be on the beach drinking pina coladas out of real coconuts, okay? We have man holding a coin. So you guys have a man coming in with the offer. I told you for some of you guys, you're working with somebody and they're going to love your work and they're going to pass on your work to other people. Like they're going to give people your name, your number, give them your business contact information. Look, after you walk away, that's when all this comes in. So maybe it was meant to happen like this Aquarius and it sucks that it had to happen this way. But guess what? There's a blessing in it. See something that you were all tied up in. You're walking away from it. Yep, because they didn't appreciate you, and you now appreciate yourself. You value and appreciate yourself, and others do too. The heart chakra is open, so some of you guys are walking away from this deal with an open heart. I feel like some of you guys, I don't know, Aquarius, it's weird, because I'm getting an energy from you guys where, like, you're going to be, like, kind of sad and heartbroken, but at the same time, it's like you care, but you don't care, because I feel like you knew it was about to be over anyway, or you knew something was coming to an ending, or you knew you had to walk away from this person or leave them. Or you just knew, like, this was how it was going to unfold. Like, there was going to be some type of ending. Um, and they could have also been in the way of your blessings. Or it's like, maybe you can just focus more now. You know? Okay. So, yes, they played the wrong lunch. connection block where's this, there's a block of honesty we got doubt some of you guys are doubting this some of you guys are doubting your own like like going towards success with, with you know for yourself all right i release the need to know all the answers but for some of you guys i feel like this person had you blocked and doubting yourself i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself some of you guys are finally being honest with yourselves somebody was doubting you somebody was not applauding you they weren't cheering you on and now you have the courage. So you guys could have just been dating someone that just didn't care about your dreams, hopes, wishes. Maybe you had ideas and stuff and they just weren't cheering you on. They weren't being supportive. Um, or maybe it could be that um, you feel like you needed to know more. You wanted more answers. You wanted to know more. You needed to know more. And I feel like you stepped back and was like, you know what? Let me be honest with myself about this situation. That's why I feel like for a lot of you guys... Even though you're walking away, it's like you care, but you don't care because I feel like you have already, you have already released and detached yourself from this situation. I feel like you already, like you had already prepared. 
Let's see, Aquarius. Yep, leadership. Yep, it's time for you to step into a new into a new role. Change. You're stepping into your leadership, healing. See, some of you guys are already healing before the breakup. So that's what I'm saying. Like, so before you guys fully broke up, some of you guys were like, you know what? I know what I need to do. I need to heal. I need to move forward. So you were already planning this. You guys are already focused on your abundance. You guys are already focused on opportunities. Some of you guys knew these opportunities were coming in. Some of you guys knew that something big was coming in. Some of you guys knew that this was going to be good. Love. Yeah, you guys started to love yourselves. And we have spiritual careers. Some of you guys are really focused on your career. Some of you guys are in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing spiritually. Some of you guys are into spiritual work or you do readings or you do some type of spiritual work, whether it be like Reiki, yoga, yoga instructor, or anything that is healing to the collective, anything that helps guides, you know, aligns people. Like you can be a spiritual coach, you know, all that type of stuff, a relationship coach, a business coach, whatever, anything that is to do with spiritually aligning people or helping people. And so if not, if you're not doing that, it's just on a spiritual level, you are where you are supposed to be at when it comes to your career. All right, let's see. And we have domestic harmony. So there was, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with domestic violence or just going through a lot. But if not, it's like you're making peace with the situation. You're no longer going to fight it anymore. You're like, it is what it is. I'm not going to keep fighting this. I'm not going to go against it. Whatever is meant to happen is going to happen. And I'm, not, I'm choosing to move forward. Okay? So that does look good, Aquarius. All right? So let's um, pull some tarot cards. Let's get some additional messages. Or right, let's see what else Spirit wants you guys to know. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Aquarius at this time? What other, uh, what additional messages do you have for Aquarius at this time, Spirit? What additional messages do you have for Aquarius at this time? What additional messages do you have for Aquarius at this time? What additional messages do you have for Aquarius at this time, Spirit? What else does Aquarius need to know? Yes, the truth is coming out and you're not taking no one shit. Like, whoever this is, somebody fell off. You guys were with somebody that, like, had it together financially. Or when you met them, they were a boss or making boss moves. Or they were treating you like the king of pentacles, whining and dining you. They were taking care of stuff, paying bills, paying rent, stuff like that. And they're not anymore. Um, that can be an issue, too. Yep. Some of you guys kind of feel like somebody trapped you guys. Um, some of you guys do kind of feel stuck, but you're like, nope child or not you know i'm still moving on i'm moving forward that's for some of you guys now for others of you somebody is going through it financially and um it has affected the relationship because it, by them not being where they want to be at financially it has definitely messed with their self-esteem and their confidence and they're just not showing up how they used to Some of you guys, I see you guys traveling moving out of state or you guys are doing a job or a project out of state somebody doesn't trust you they don't trust you either, Aquarius. Like, so when you got to stay, or you do these jobs, are you, say if you work for me and are you got contracts or you're dealing with like males and stuff, they don't like it. They don't like it. And then it's because you're dealing with people that are successful or have money that can cause an issue too sometimes. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? Y'all are going to get into it about something like that. The Nine of Swords. Y'all are getting into it about money or like some type of, yes, yeah, money because you're bringing in the money. You guys are the breadwinner right now. It's about money. Or you guys are unhappy with their financial situation. Somebody does feel restricted. But then this person also feels like when they did have money, they did everything they could for you. And they made you happy. That made you happy. And they feel like because they're not where they are. They okay. So they also feel like because they're not where they once were. Do you really care about them because their financial situation changed? That's for some of you guys. Because they feel like when they had it, they gave it to you. And now that the financial situation has changed, they feel like you have changed. Um... But let's see, let's go into justice. Why is justice here? That's for some of you guys, not all of you. Let's see. See, something is not moving forward and you are going towards more money. 
big money and more success. Mm -hmm. More success comes after some type of breakup, Aquarius, unfortunately. And new love. New love and new money come after a breakup. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys can be like closer to 40 and you don't want any more children, but I do see a child in your future. Um, or somebody that you once were pregnant by, you guys could have like got an abortion. Well, I'm sorry, I can't say that because you too might like it. Some of you guys could have decided to do that or some of you guys could have lost it. If you did, I'm sorry. Either way, I'm sorry. But um, there's a chance and opportunity for you guys to get pregnant by this person again. Or you will get pregnant by this person again. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you. Let's see. Let's see what else we got for Aquarius. Yeah, somebody really changed. Like when their financial situation changed, they changed. It's like you see this person for who they really are and you just don't know what to do about the situation. I feel like some of you guys are wanting a new beginning and you want to start over with them. But at the same time, you're detaching and freeing yourself from them, like I said. And you're like, I'd rather be single and abundant and doing my thing than to hold on to somebody that... Oh, that's what happened. There was some little issue here. So they were, you found out about something. They embarrassed you guys. Or you guys found out about like some little, like there was some, there was like a little situation. We got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. When y'all were going through it or about to break up or when y'all did. Well, I wouldn't even say y'all did break up because y'all were still around. But there was some type of disconnect. They were lying to you and hanging out with somebody else. Mm-hmm. And... And this person liked them for them and not for what they had. Not saying that's why you like this person, Aquarius. But it's like, mm, how long did this go on? Oh, they had a strong see. They try to resist. Like, they try not to, you know, do it. It took them months before they gave in. And this person was trying to come at them for like a year. This is something that lasted for like a couple weeks, couple months. Um, somebody seen this person and tried to tell you, but I feel like you didn't want to believe it at first. And then it's like after the after it, you know you sat on it, let it marinate it. You were starting to pick up on the signs. Your intuition was starting to tell you. Some of you guys are really gifted, so your intuition was telling you that they were doing something anyway. But I feel like in the back of your mind, you're like, "There's no way that they would do this to me." Like you're like, "Oh hell no, they would never." You know, you're like, "Oh, they go to work, they come home, like we hang out, they're a good dad, or they're a good mom, we do this." And then you were just shocked, and it just it changed everything that was that's what really changed it for you mm -hmm. and that's when you really start focusing on you give me one second aquarius you can stay right there i'm um, sorry aquarius yeah so i do see more money and more happiness coming towards y'all but let me see i do see somebody frustrated yeah somebody is frustrated that you are moving on without them so yeah it's the whoever you guys are with so let's pull some romance angels really quick Pull some romance angels really quick and pull your spirit message mm -mm, over here i know i'm recording that's fine and don't get nothing on that on those white shirts because y'all got on white shirts all right Aquarius. so we have you deserve love you are lovable so you are a lovable person and you do deserve love so let's see wedding so some of you guys could be going towards a marriage right so it's like after all this is said and done you're going towards more success happiness your money's looking good okay you can be going towards marriage okay let's see message for aquarius or is it seeing like you are marriage material you are wifey material so we look we have deception you guys are leaving a deceptive situation behind see look told you Look, Eight of Cups, you're walking away from deception. You're walking away from deception. Um, so, yes, I love it. Um, let's pull your spirit message. So, yeah, y'all are walking away from deception and going towards something way better. So we have, let's see, it says enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. Enlightenment. All right, so it says you have come into your own. 
and are in search of something more meaningful to add to your life. Now is the time to meditate, deliberate, self-evaluate, and withdraw from the world to seek truth and solitude. Rest and a quiet retreat away from the daily routine will allow you to consider enlightened, enlightened sorry, decisions and go in the direction of your heart. This may also be the time to seek advice and spiritual guidance from a mentor or an experienced person. Your mantra says, the mantra, I search for wisdom in mental clear, clarity. All right. So y'all have somebody that's helping you, maybe a mentor or somebody that's helping you or guiding you. Or if not, you guys are like on that path, on that journey, wanting to get spiritual help, guidance, support. But like I said, they played the wrong person. And this person is going to be so jealous and so envious when you guys move on and go towards marriage, success, more money, a new man, a new woman, whatever y'all got going on. But it's going to be really, really good. And you guys definitely deserve it, Aquarius. So I wouldn't look back. I wouldn't think twice. I wouldn't even blink. Because it is, it, it is what it is. Like, I feel like it happened for a reason. Um, and I feel like for some of you guys, the only way you guys were going to level up, boss up, or upgrade was if you let that go. Sometimes it's like that, unfortunately. You know? So, that is what I have for you, Aquarius. That is your reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, if you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on my online store, my tears have healed my heart .com. And of course, you guys will hear from me soon. Bye, Aqua.